reason for most women and why they date broke men is because of the penis. <laughs> the sex was in Pekka Bug. The best dick is broke dick because they have time to give you like good dick. They when I hear all this broke talk and I hear all these women with these sob stories in regards to the men that they dated and how he stole money from your purse, how he used up all your gas, ate up all your kids' fruit snacks, it goes in one ear and out the other because women are very cognizant in regards to who they sleep with. Here are some things I expect a man to pay for while I'm dating him or we're in a relationship. The reason why she feels like that is because somebody is having sex with that woman. So if you're one of these men that's online complaining about overweight women and why they won't lose weight and you're out there secretly having sex with them, you are a part of the problem. So I'm not with nobody because I don't want to hurt nobody. Did it over text, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you want to be somebody, even if you got to leave somebody. And I got to highlight this because we have to correct this. One of the narratives that I see in these YouTube spaces in particular are on these social media spaces. Black women say that we don't want to date broke men, broke black men in particular. So let's put that theory to the test. Number one reason for most women and why they date broke men is because of the penis. <laughs> the sex was in Pekka Bug. Okay, I don't know if it's the fact that they know they need to borrow some money or borrow your car or they need a place to stay that really amps up the sex game, but whatever it is, it was lit. Okay, I'm glad I moved on from that because they will get you in your feelings. Sometimes when the sex is good, you think that you want more from them, but then you realize, wow, you're really a roach. I can't make you my man, you know what I mean? So that's really kind of what happens, but it takes a minute, especially if it's, like I say, if it's bomb, it's kind of hard to detach. I'm guessing because they don't have any other skill that they make sex their skills because the bills got to get paid and they're not going to pay them because they don't have no job. So they got to secure the woman to do it. Oh, that's what it is. All right. So now you guys understand why when I hear all this broke talk and I hear all these women with these sob stories in regards to the men that they dated and how he stole money from your purse how you use up all your gas, ate up all your kids' fruit snacks. It goes in one ear and out the other because women are very cognizant in regards to who they sleep with. That's the, the most thought out decision that women make when they deal with men is who they're going to have sex with. So that's why I never listen to any of these sob stories. I didn't know. I didn't know he was a deadbeat. They willingly make these decisions on their own. Pookie and Ray Ray will never be without a job because if our women continue to choose men based off of their looks and how good they will be in bed, we will always have these same issues. Women cannot choose men like men choose women because there's a far greater risk when you guys choose based off of looks and sexual attractiveness. You are literally putting your life on the line if you get pregnant by this man. Uterine rupture ranks number one on our list. It is arguably the most dangerous of all obcentric complications for both baby and mother. 
Uterine rupture is a rare event in which the wall of the mother's uterus literally tears open suddenly and without warning. Number two on our list is shoulder dystocia. Shoulder dystocia occurs when the baby's shoulder becomes stuck behind the mother's pelvic bone during vaginal delivery. If doctors cannot dislodge the shoulder and deliver the baby quickly, oxygen deprivation can occur. Number three on our list is umbilical cord prolapse. In a normal childbirth, the baby goes through the birth canal first and is followed by the umbilical cord. Prolapse occurs when the vital umbilical cord drops into the cervical opening first and ends up in front of the baby as it enters the birth canal. One reason umbilical cord prolapse is so dangerous is that it is one of the few events that can completely cut off oxygen to the baby. So if we're gonna continue to push this narrative, the reason why we date broke men is because of the sex. Gentlemen, I'm telling you from here on out, do not listen to any of these arguments where you hear these women say that they didn't know they were young. I didn't know my baby daddy was gonna be like this. He was different. No, he wasn't. He's the same person that you met. They willingly do it. Let's continue. Oh, because Broke oh, Man has got I'm better not, dick? Yeah, Broke I'm not trash. Got way better dick. Like, I'm not trash. Can't nobody I feel like... fuck you like a nigga with no, with it, that don't have a car? That yeah. his mama? Oh, my yeah. God. When you oh, got nothing like, to God. lose, you fucking Not only nothing yeah, to I feel, lose, I feel, I feel like, like you have so much more time to give as well. Say, like, the best dick is Broke Dick because they have time to give you, like, good dick. They feel bad. The guys with they the most money, it's like it's either medium or okay. But when they are broke, oh, my God. I'll give you whack dick in a purse. So all these relationship discussions and where women, are, I don't date broke men. It's all cap. Cap. It's cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> we already did the add children at a, at a wet like birth rate, 69.4%. It's a thought out decision. And the same thing goes for men. When men decide to have sex with women that they end up hating because they had a kid with this woman, it's a well thought out decision. They did it on purpose. There are no accidents when it comes to sex, you didn't trip and fall into some booty. You made the choice. So all this stuff about, yo, we not, we not going to date broke men don't deserve no pee. I know that's right. I know that's right. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Those types of guys will always have some use because women are going to continue, particularly black women, are going to continue to choose men based off of looks and sexual attractiveness. It should be simple. Yes, it's natural to want an attractive man. But if everything else doesn't align, if this if you can't see this guy being a good father, will he be able to take care of your kid? If you get pregnant, if he is not an upstanding gentleman with no felonies and all that stuff, you make the choice, you have sex, it is what it is. It's going to get pregnant. But if those things don't align and all you see is him being attractive to you and you still willingly have sex with him and you put your life on the line and you get pregnant and you have his kid, then that's a you problem. I don't want to hear any complaining. And like I said, guys, when you see these conversations and they tell these sob stories, don't believe it. It's hey, it's a decision. It's a decision that they made and they have to live with it. So I just wanted to put that out there in regards to primitive dating standards. That's an example of that. Choosing men based off of looks and long. And I say this for the men as well. I hear a lot of dudes complaining about bigger women, plus size women in their standards. Every time I go on a panel show, it's always a contingent of men saying that, hey, I don't date bigger women or why are bigger women asking for dates and think they should be courted. But you know why they have those type of standards is because some of y'all are having sex with them women. And somebody mentioned it last show. Those women on that 600 pound life, they always got a man. Big daddy got to do everything. I'm sick of it, really. She needs to get it together. We need to get it together because I need my help, mate. Where my syrup at, baby? Yeah, come on, baby. Damn, you know, I got your whole tub up. Mm. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, to be perfectly honest, men, you have to take some of that blame when you sit there and get, you're getting mad at plus-size women having the standards that they have. Like that young plus-size model. Here are some things I expect a man to pay for while I'm dating him or we're in a relationship. All dates. Like, sir, you're courting me, you're dating me, like, you should be paying for the date. I don't pay for dates, so, I like, what are we doing here? You gotta be able to afford my nails to be done once every two weeks. When it comes to hair, I'm gonna need you to front the bill on that, you know? Like, you need to help me out. You must get my Uber, that is just the standard. Waxing is a given. I feel like 
nobody wants to see that so yeah you got my wax right you got my wax but eventually you're gonna have to pay my rent like girls got bills to pay and i am too feminine to like pay for myself so i mean i do that now but like if i'm with you why would i pay for my own bills oh no the reason why she feels like that is because somebody is having sex with that woman so in her mind she's like well why do i need to change if i'm getting the sex that, that i want because we already uncovered that as there's a lot of women that don't understand there's a difference between a man giving you sexual attention and a man actually committing to you. They don't know the difference. So if you continue to have sex with these women and you're sitting here saying, I'm going to call her in the late night after the club. So that's why these women get these standards. And they have a right to have them because, like I said, some guy is out there having sex with these women. So you have to understand that you play a part in this as well. So if you're one of these men that's online complaining about overweight women and why they won't lose weight and you're out there secretly having sex with them, you are a part of the problem because why would they change? You already, hey, you like the girl said in the video, she said, if you're priding yourself on catching a penis. Oh, I could catch a dick no matter how big I am. When she's saying that, she's saying that, hey, she these women are having sex. So there's men out there that's doing it. Even it's not even the guys that probably considered themselves as men who are attracted to overweight women. These are men who, who say that they prefer in shape women, but you continue to have sex with plus size women, but you're just not going, taking them out on dates. Okay, cool. But if they're still coming out in the dating market and they expect you to do the same thing that you would for an in shape woman, then guess who's to blame? You. So the same thing goes for guys as well. You understand what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we got to be honest here on both ends.